What is going on guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see, I'm at my gym right now. I'm waiting for my buddy Vince, um, who actually, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you might recognize him. He used to help me with videos back in the day, shooting them, and he was in a few, if I believe, um, if my memory serves me correctly. But I'm gonna show you guys, um, or introduce you guys to him in a little bit here, regardless and stay tuned for that. We're gonna be hitting a shoulder and arm workout for my new get moving workout routine, which I'll talk a little bit about throughout the video here, but um, that's available now if you want more info right off the bat. Um, my link for my website is in the um, description, um, so you can take a look there and get some more info right away. But stay tuned guys, gonna run you through the full workout and kinda show you what I've been doing, sets and reps wise, and also just give you some key tips. So stay tuned, he should be here in a little bit. Feels good. Good to be in here. Dude, when was the last time you were on my YouTube channel? Probably six months ago. Did I tell the people I said you might remember him from back I'm in the day? Return. Dude, return. from back in the day, dude. I was like, he used to help me film the videos. Do you remember that shit? Yeah. Dude, that was a long time ago. Right. But that was Probably fun. We killed it with those edits, yeah. dude. Dude, we was killing start it. somewhere, right? Dude. Alright, we're about to kill it. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, I wish we would have hit leg day. It's alright, we'll do that another time. Seriously. My squat has gotten so much better. Good, dude. Means you're doing them. So, uh, Vince decided to do barbell. Um, the option is to either do barbell or dumbbell standing shoulder press. Um, either way is fine on the Get Moving program, so um, it's up to you. But he's doing barbell, I'm gonna do dumbbell. He's just getting warmed up here, and yeah. God damn. I'm loving this shit, dude. Yeah, it's one of the best ones. There's so much stuff you can do with it. Dude, the this. Zoom, don't really zoom, though. I'm not. I was gonna say, because it does zoom a little, but not too much. So, on these, I'm really focusing on squeezing my glutes, keeping my core nice and tight, keeping my elbows slightly tucked, and then bringing them up and over as I start the rep. So as I'm getting warmed up here, I'm just doing as much sets as I need to to get up to the weight that I'm going to be using for three sets of three to five reps. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing for our working weight, or our working sets, excuse me. Alright, but um... I'm about to do my first working set. I got 40s here and hit a set of five. So like I said, really focusing on squeezing my glutes here, keeping everything tight in the core and midsection. I like pretty light. Alright, so we're going 50s for our next set. We'll see how this goes. Hoping for five reps here. So one thing I want you guys to think about when you're doing your next workout is just executing each individual rep um, in each individual set like it's the only set that you can do for that specific exercise for that specific workout. So hopefully that makes sense but basically what I'm saying is use each set like it's the only one you're doing for that specific exercise. So you're basically, you're going to go a lot harder, you're going to think about um, each individual rep a lot more contently um, and you're going to focus a lot more because you want to get the most bang for your buck. Well that's how you should apply it. Um, that, that mindset should be applied to every single set and every single rep that you do. Um, a lot of times people think that they need to spend so many hours in the gym, two hour workouts, kill yourself. If you get good quality reps in, you can get your workout done in 45 minutes to an hour. If you want to spend more time in, that's up to you, but you can definitely get it done. So. Um, think about execution the next time that you go into the gym and I promise 
you're going to be a lot more sore, you're going to you're going to be a lot more focused and um, you're just going to get a lot better workout in. So, another quick tip. All right, so next guys, you can either do normal dips, you can do machine dips, or you can do the variation that I'm going to be doing. Since we're at my gym that doesn't have any dip machines at all, we're going to be doing this one. Um, you can, like I said, do a traditional dip, but just focus on the triceps more. Um, but this is going to be a little bit better um, for activating just the triceps and not taxing the chest as much, um, in my opinion. So, you're going to be focusing on keeping your legs straight here. You can also do this with your feet on the ground to make it a little bit easier. But in my case, I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult here. Coming down to about 90 degrees, pressing up through those triceps. So the main thing here is you're not coming past 90 degrees with your elbows, you don't stress those shoulders out. And then after you come up, you're going to want to squeeze, like I said, through those triceps, locking them out at the top. All right? Another thing you want to avoid is shrugging through your shoulders here, as you just saw, so stay strong. Use just those triceps. All right? Another thing you want to focus on is keeping that core tight. I don't know how many reps I just did there, but shoot for about 8 to 10. Um, if that's a little too easy, slow those reps down, and I promise it'll make it a little harder. As you can see, we have the intricate tripod. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, but anyways, next movement. I don't think I said this yet. Um, we're gonna do some alternating curls, so standing, um, starting with a neutral grip, so um, thumbs down like this or thumbs up, and then you're gonna rotate the palm up, so supinating, and then alternating, so one arm at a time. Focusing on keeping my elbows tight to my body here. Just really maximizing the amount that my biceps actually do in the movement. Very typical bicep tips, you know. So my young lad Vince here is having trouble with his lateral raises. So what I would tell him is keep that angle like he's pouring a glass of water. Yep. But then try to swing less and bring them up in front a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. No, no, no. Just in front here and then still driving the elbow. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah. You try to relax your traps. A lot of times you're shrugging too much. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Good. It's really one of those movements where you got to feel it out. You don't want to go too straight of arms because then you're going to hurt your shoulders if you're going too heavy. But you also don't want to go super tight with your arms and bend your elbows way too much. So you kind of got to play with it. But hopefully those tips help you out a little if you heard them. Thank you. Talking to them. I'm cutting shit. This lighting's great. <laughs> dude, what do you mean you're small, dude? He's definitely bigger since the last time I saw him. Whether he whether he believes it or not, but uh Dude, hell yeah. Hit the last spread. Okay, Vince. Hit him with the physique pose. Christian Guzman, summer shredding. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do it? Should I do it? Wait, up. Oh, Vince is flown away. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Dude, you actually look like
So next up, we got some tricep pushdowns, um, cable tricep pushdowns. You can do any sort of attachment that you want to. Um, I'm doing the straight bar variation or straight bar attachment today. Three sets of 12 reps, so that's the next one. Okay, Vince, what, what, what did you just tell me? There's a kid at the gym I go to that every exercise he does, he will carry his tub of pre-workout. Better yet, C4. <laughs> to every exercise he does, and in between sets, he'll... He supersets he with supersets to the dome pre-workout. <laughs> he supersets with a to the dome pre-workout. Dude, he must be at least 600 milligrams deep by, yeah. by mid-workout. Maybe 850. <laughs> <laughs> right, damn. Watch the pre-workout use, kids. Don't be like that guy. <laughs> FDA In, inter, intermittent pre-workout <laughs> <laughs> supplementation. <laughs> so I just did some hammer curls, rope hammer curls, um, three sets of 12, and now we're finishing up with um, some cable face pulls. And I actually just realized that this is the same workout that I showed you guys in my last video with Chris. So if you saw that, it's very similar. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. But otherwise, we're about to finish this up. This will be our last exercise um, after we get done with the hammer curls, then moving on to the face pulls, and then we'll be done, all right? So I'm using focusing on driving my elbows up, pulling my hands right towards the bottom of my ears, squeezing through my rear delts, and then my upper back too. This is a great exercise for postural health and just overall shoulder health, as well as for those rear delts. The rear delts meaning this part of the shoulder. You got three parts of your shoulder. The front, which you hit a lot from pushing movements, front raises, that sort of stuff. You have the medial or lateral delt, which is going to hit from a lot of lateral raises, upright rows, that sort of stuff. And then you have the rear delt, which is what you're going to hit from pulling movements, and then different things like that, like face pulls, isolation exercises, and so on. So, just a little anatomy lesson for you. So now that you tried the workout, how would you say it was? <laughs> what? How would you say the workout went? You like it? Thumbs up. Good. It's a great place. I like this place a lot. I'm going to get Vinny on the Get Moving program so he can give you guys some feedback on how things are going and that will give him uh, more reason to keep posting and at least uh, come work out with me more often so he can tell you guys how Switch it's going. things up a little bit. Because he's, 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 been, he's, been, he's been lifting for uh, consistently. He just hasn't been lifting with me so I haven't been, uh, been on his ass, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The typical. Sometimes it's good to lift by yourself, sometimes it's good to lift with a partner but, but yeah, I'm going to get him on that give you guys some feedback but if you guys are interested like I said um, I mentioned earlier it is now available so um, it's like more of a routine so it's something you can stay consistent with over a long period of time versus like a program where it's set to a specific length um, but yeah so I'm running it right now gonna give you guys more insight more videos and more workouts specifically um, and I'll also give you guys full workouts for anyone who's interested um, in seeing those but not interested in buying the program so always just trying to help you guys out show you guys as much as I can and yeah Good to see Vince. And he'll be back. Yes, but I will uh, talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching, if you're still watching. Um, also, if you're interested in these hats, they're now available. DM me on Instagram right now. They'll be up on the site very soon. Um, so you can just purchase them from there. But if you're interested, message me and you can get them. Have a good night, guys. Thanks Please for like, watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. What'd, they, what'd you say, Vince? Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, what he said. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>